Hi, this is Rich Cruz. I want to welcome you back to our journey in ethnomusicology. And uh, we're going to talk today about the clave. And the clave is basically just a pair of sticks that uh, get hit together. But really, well, that's, a, that's how they appear, but really, they are... They are the driving force of a lot of music, Latin music, especially in the Afro-Cuban tradition. Now, rhythm sticks are used around the world uh, in, in a variety of different cultures. It's thought that these actually came from uh, the African tradition. Of course, we've also seen rhythm sticks used in the in the Native American tradition, we've seen them used in the Aboriginal tradition and, and uh, Australia. So rhythm sticks have been used all over the world. But the clave are a particularly intre interesting instrument. And um, uh, well, th this is what we're going to focus on today. The clave means key or keystone. And it's very appropriate because it is the heartbeat of Afro-Cuban music. Um, I, in the Wawanko, in the rumba, uh, anything that's uh, in the uh, son tradition, um, you're going to find clave in a lot of those types, salsa, um, but we see also clave in ballads and a lot of other modern music. If not the clave itself, a lot of the patterns. So. Uh, let, let's just look at the instrument itself in terms of what it is. It's an idiophone uh, Which means it doesn't have a membrane. It doesn't it's so it's not a membranophone. It doesn't have strings So it's not a chordophone. It's not a woodwind uh, or any kind of wind instrument um, it, it makes a sound in and of itself and so it is referred to as an idiophone um, It is typically made out of rosewood like these are some kind of hardwood uh, I have also seen them made out of plastic we have a set like these which are made out of fiberglass um, I love the fiberglass ones for an outdoor performance because they cut through everything um, very bright sound and uh, wonderful for getting in front of a you're getting that sound to carry through an ensemble but uh, for recording purposes I typically prefer to go with something that is uh, that's actually a little more traditional in a hardwood family uh, you know, rosewood something like this um, the basic patterns for clave are the son and what we're going to talk about today um, in 4-4 four, four time is the son and the rumba now there's also uh, triplet patterns or you know f uh, like uh, 12 eight patterns but uh, today for the sake of time we're going to just talk about the four four patterns um, the song which is the most popular which can be done in a three two or a two three pattern I'll show you both of those goes like this now Son is that uh, 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 uh. we hear that quite often. I'm sure you've heard it uh, and uh, in a lot of like 1950s type of music. I remember uh, uh, a couple of Elvis uh, t songs had that uh, 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 type of driving beat. Um, some surf music had that type of beat in it. And uh, that comes from that clave. Uh, 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 uh. Um, let's talk before I get into the rumba clave let's talk about how do you actually play these things um, you don't play them which I've seen a lot of people play them this way you don't play them gripping the sticks like drumsticks and hitting them because you're not going to get a sound out of them that way uh, they're gonna, it's going to be very muffled because you've got all this flesh of your hand uh, getting in the way Instead, the way that we're going to learn how to play these so we can get a really good song sound out of it is uh, we're going to hold it very lightly in our non-dominant hand, our left hand. Um, we're going to hold it very lightly and create a resonant chamber, chamber here. 
Now, on the other hand, I'm going to hold it not as quite as I, as tight as I would hold a drumstick, but so I have some control in here uh, between my my thumb and my forefinger, and then I would wrap my hands around it very lightly, turning it so I have this again. I have this chamber here, and then I'm going to do and I get this nice big sound. So song clave, nice big sound is going to sound like this. Hitting right here, against here, into that resonating chamber. Okay. So let's talk about rumba clave. Uh, rumba clave, and uh, you know, you've heard, you may have heard of the rumba, uh, Dancing with the Stars, and, and uh, uh, you know, the dance craze that's going on uh, all around uh, with regard to ballroom dancing is uh, rumba. They, oh, they typically, as long as, as far as I've seen, they start you off with the rumba and it's, uh, it's a very cool uh, dance, um, even a cooler thing to play. And uh, the, the backbone of rumba is a little different than song. So let's again review song. Now let's listen to clave. Or to rumba clave. Now you hear that kind of more syncopated version of it. So song, rumba. Okay, so there's there's the difference. Now you can also play clave. Now that's three two. So I've got three. Uh, 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 and then two. Okay, you can also play it vice versa. You can play it two, three. So a song would be Okay, you can also do your rumba clave in a two, three. So that's just a little introduction into the clave, one of the most uh, underappreciated instruments out there, but definitely something we can't live without in, uh, in Western music. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a jingle at 708-297-1535. Uh, love to hear from you. Um, my, my web address is www.keepthebeatinc.com. YouTube is keep YouTube slash keep the beat ink. Um, that's K E E P T A T B E A T I N C. Um, chances are you're already here, but if you're not, and uh, somebody sent this to you, check us out and uh, keep on playing. You know, uh, come on back. I'm going to introduce a whole lot more instruments uh, as time goes on, and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks, Mel. Take care.